We got DoorDash, Chris Dash. Wow. Chris Dash. Yeah. Chris, Chris Dash. Dash. Coffee shop Chris. There he is. Coffee shop Chris. In Everybody. The flesh. CFO. I paid for this Stop. stuff. Coffee shop. What did you get a yeah. shot What's of espresso and then yeah. coffee? Yeah, some Chris espresso and some snap chill. Yeah. Do you yeah. start with the espresso and just sip it or you throw it back? Yeah, I enjoy it, yeah. Nice. It's good. What does and that taste like? Is like that just your Ben Spearcy or is strong. that just straight mm. snap? Yeah, this is actually the Ben Spearcy of the week. Is it so it's snap chill with espresso? Yeah. In yeah. there, and you have espresso shot. Mm-hmm. That was good, but they didn't have any cold brew today, and I was bummed. Like, like they're cold making s'more today. That's yeah. so good. Like it's really brew. good. Mm, that's so great. Bad. Yeah. I still, mm. I still am a snap chill fan, I think. Yeah. I'm on that kick hard right now. Snap chill or cold yeah. brew? Snap chill. Yeah. I had a. The cold brew's handy. I, I've got to figure out hunting wise what we're going to do for coffee. And if Ben's going or not. Yeah, yeah that's that's kind of yeah. that's kind of a big deal. We I need, need to, to figure know. that out this, in the next day or when two. When you guys go and how rugged is it? We're leaving next Friday. We're going for a full week, Friday to Friday. And we're basically taking a trailer, an empty trailer, and just going to throw some mattresses in it. And sleep <laughs> in it. It's rough. Like, really? Rough oh, wow. It. It's real rough in it. Where so. are you hunting? Gunnison, Colorado. Oh, You're driving you to Colorado? Colorado? I'm not driving to Colorado. Marlon and Brian are driving to Colorado, me and Billings, since we have children and our wives would kill us if we were longer, gone longer. Brian and Marlon are going to go Thursday to like Sunday because wow. it'll take them like two days or a day to get back. You well, we're, gonna we're just going to fly and then drive. I was going to say, you guys, you've been a road medicine. warrior. And so I'm Let's wait to do it. fired up to yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be fun, but we're going to be able to take as much stuff as we need, I guess, in the trailer, which will be good. Yeah. Um, but this is completely unguided. The last oh, wow. time we went was... Uh, you had guided a guide. hunt. This yeah. is a self-guided. Granted, I learned a ton, and Matt, um, the guy, our guide, Matt Brown, um, taught us, taught me a ton. I mean, I hiked so much, and you know, he he showed us a bunch. I mean, I'm not by any means an expert, but I think I know what to look for, and hmm. um, I'm looking forward to it. It'd be fun. That's awesome. So, is it still deer season? Yeah. What are you hunting for? Elk. 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 Okay. elk. Yeah. Elk hunting. But it's if you get, get one, then elk. you have to like. Oh yeah, quarter take it, it apart right there, it, right? And then because hike it out. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be. Will cool. you have like, I guess a cooler? <laughs> I mean. Yeah, we'll probably have some coolers. Um, <laughs> I guess a cooler. Uh, Is there cell phone service out there? <laughs> um, so we're gonna get some GPS, like a Garmin, and you can text off of that. Um, but we don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how oh. spot this ther- service will be spotty. I bet. That's gonna oh. be wild. <laughs> Get it? Uh, <laughs> that's a, I'm it's a dad joke. It. That's me. <laughs> Are you going to work out? We're going to take some stuff just in case. I don't know how much like oh. hiking we're going to do because it is elk. I mean, it is bow hunting. So there's a lot of walking, a lot of hiking. Um, but we're going to take some stuff with us just in case, you know, we don't walk a ton on a day. Um, but last time I had every intention on working out a little bit every night. And I was so beat by the time we got back to the lodge that, and we were rifle hunting that I was, I was good. Well, I couldn't even imagine. Like Matt almost died. Matt literally almost died. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole podcast like, on it, I think. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> like there was enough fitness to go around. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him over in the gym working out. Oh, Matt is working out. He yes. started yeah. last month or yes. last three or four weeks in ago. And this? I walked in there and that dude's athletic, he's actually. He's unathletic. He's just super lazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. I watched him run and I was like, look at that guy. He moves well. Like, why is he yeah, not he's, doing it? He's this? been, I mean... That's how we met, literally, or literally. Uh, that's how we met when we were kids. This is Matt Billings from Froning yeah. Farms. Yep. Uh, we met in first grade, second grade, first grade. We played minor league baseball together, yeah. and then somehow got paired on the same football team, and then got paired on a baseball team in the spring, and that was kind of the rest of history from there. Yeah. We've been best friends ever since. Uh, but so I mean, we played sports growing up together. He's an athlete. He's yeah. just super lazy. <laughs> we were that's really cool. I didn't know you guys were friends since you were like. Five. Yeah, yeah, we were friends. Yeah. Um, he's probably, besides like you know Darren, obviously, but he's family. Hmm. Probably my oldest friend that I'm like keep in touch with. That's pretty and cool. Have been friends since, and never had like any. You know, we had times in our life where we weren't as you know close. You know, we had different friend groups or whatever, but always you know come back and have been super close all the time. Really, because they all live on Pfeiffer Mountain. Yeah, too. we live, yeah. and then so when I was in fifth grade we moved up to Pfeiffer Mountain and so we lived cool. from that point on we were lived a mile apart so nice. we hung out a ton growing up you guys yeah. were on firefighter academy yep. or something uh, like we didn't go to fire school together he was a class after me wow you uh, guys have so many and 
but we, and we actually never worked on the same shift, but we were both firefighters for the same period of time. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, yeah, me and Matt. Yeah, he's, he actually said... He's a great athlete, actually. I'm like, man, when he's you're done with this, are you actually going to keep working out? And he's like, yeah, I think I am. Yeah, three days a week. It, yeah. I think so I we'll just see. always thought by association, like if you're best friends with someone, like I just assumed he was athletic. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, but guys, he just, you know. like I said, he just doesn't, hmm. never wanted to work out, I guess, and was just like, meh, I'm good. Yeah. It's so funny because of all the people you hang out with, most everybody's going to try to do try some to do fitness. Something. And yeah. Matt's and always like, been like, nah, nah, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> and he got buried on that first <clears throat> hunt we went on. I mean, the first day, we hiked 13 miles. He ended up hiking probably eight of that. We hiked up the side of this hill. It was in Montana, um, in western Montana. And where were we at? Heron? Heron, Montana? So... It wasn't like we weren't at altitude per se. Once you got, you know, I mean, this was no small feat. Like it was a, it was a hill, a big hill, big mountain. And, uh, you know, we would hike. We, he would, the guide would wait. We'd wait for Matt to catch up. Matt would, we'd sit there for like five or 10 minutes and we'd hike up some more and whatever. And then we got up to glass. We sat there for about an hour, hour and a half, glassing around, seeing what we could see. Then we started hiking up higher, got to another vantage point, sat there for about an hour or so, had some lunch. And then I think the guide could kind of tell Matt was starting to hurt a little bit. So we were about three quarters away up the hill. And he's like, Matt, why don't you stay here? Uh, you kind of glass here and you might see something pop out down, you know, he's kind of pointing out. And he's like, me and Richard go up to the top. And so we walk up to the top and we're just walking along this ridge for probably two or three hours and like glass in different spots on the backside. Cause like it what was does glassing mean. You have uh, binoculars or like oh. uh, shooting, shooting glasses. Um, and so we're sitting there and walking back and forth across this ridge and so you're on one side you're looking kind of into town and then on the other side you're looking at a back country like yeah hundreds of miles where there's nothing and so you know we saw a bunch of mule deer and i didn't get mule deer tags i wish i would have now but um so we sit up there for a couple hours and starting to get dark so the guide's like all right let's head back down so we catch up with matt and we would walk about 15 minutes and we would wait 15 minutes <laughs> and you'd see matt's light Come meandering, down the <laughs> and then when he would get there, we'd wait maybe two or three minutes because it was get like it was like nine o'clock, eight o'clock at night. We'd walk down 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> we'd wait for another fifteen or twenty minutes. Like he was dying, and so we got back in the truck. We got back to the lodge at maybe ten o'clock, and so what they do is they have dinner and stuff for you. Well, all of our everybody's gone to sleep, so yeah. they packed up our dinner and put it in the fridge. And so oh, I grab so a couple no plates because I'm starving. Uh, Matt's like, I can't eat, man. I'm like, you gotta eat, you gotta drink. He's like, I, I, I'm, I'm peeing blood, blah blah. blah. I, I think he's over exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that is serious. And he's like, yeah, I know. I mean, I'm just, oh I feel gosh. awful, blah, blah blah. And I'm like, you've got to eat and you've got to drink. I can't, I can't. Like you've got to do something. So we go to bed um, that night, and luckily it was kind of cool out there. The sun doesn't come up till eight o'clock ish at that time of year. So you can kind of sleep in for yeah. hunting. You can sleep in. So yeah. it was like 6.30, and I'm up. I'm ready to go. Like, I had fun the day before. Like, I'm on it. Matt, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to stay here. I was like, come on, man. Like, we're out here. You can, you know, you can. we'll put you up in a whatever. No, no. Just leave me. So, <laughs> just okay. leave so I come me. out, and the guide's like, where's Matt? I'm like, he's, he's going to sleep today. And so we go out, do some more walking around, hiking, sitting. And then we came back about 1 o'clock, and we, Matt's still in bed. <laughs> so I'm get you, get your ass up. Yeah. Oh, and so gosh. Matt's like, all right, we we can put him in a stand. Like if he can walk a hundred yards, we can put him in a stand. Matt's like, I think I can do that. And so for the next three days, we would literally walk Matt to Poor a Matt. stand, <laughs> and then he would sit there all day, and we would come back and get him. And he loved it. He's that's what he wants. To, he wanted to do. Yeah. The, the thing was is like before, leading up to it, I'm like, you got to get ready, man. We're gonna be hiking. He's like, no, man. They have mules and horses, and you mules. know we can just take those. And I was like, I don't want to ride a horse. Like. The trails and stuff we were on, I barely trust myself walking, let alone a horse yeah. and be on the horse. And so we meet with our guide the first night. Matt's like, so we're going to get on the, the horses and mules? He goes, I hate mules and horses. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we'll use them if we kill something. They'll come Aww. get our stuff. Right. And Matt, his face is just like, bloop. <laughs> and he's like, no way. So what's his plan this time? Is him and Mar Marlon and Matt him are going to kind of get in a stand? Him and Marlon are going to hang out together. And after watching them work out together, they're perfect for each other. <laughs> they were both trying to get out of one. Were you there the day yeah. when I was trying to like, 
Haley and Rich were doing this like terribly hard workout, and Rich wrote a scaled version for them. I thought it was a, been a great workout. It for was them. a good workout. I walk in, I come back from a walk, and they're just like they're dinking in the, around. They're yeah. like, if I'm looking, they're like pedaling. As soon as I look <laughs> away, they're like hiding in the corner. I was. And Rich is like, Tasia, will you help them? Because they couldn't like they figure couldn't it out. They couldn't figure it out. It was because it was uh, it was a mayhem. Uh, it was a compete workout that um, we had done. It was sixty cows on the echo bike 45 for the girls i yeah. think something like that way too many less for the girls <laughs> uh, and then five rounds of 24 wall ball 72 double unders and then cows again we did six rounds of 24 wall balls and 48 heavy double unders so i just had them get on the bike ergs mm-hmm. and do 40 cows and then five rounds of single unders and air squats and then cows pretty straightforward yeah yeah they couldn't figure out they, they were going like back to the bike come back to the bike and i'm like and i'm i'm dying in this workout it's like 90 degrees and 100 percent humidity and then the first echo bike just smashed me and i'm in no like right now mentally i don't care as long as i close my rings on my watch i'm good <laughs> i was in such a and i was so pissed at them for cheating in the like, warm-up they didn't even in the warm-up they wouldn't even do the warm-up right marlon so should the, know better but yeah but marlon doesn't care either he's just like nah, whatever uh, whatever and so i was so pissed and then they're just kind of dicking around yeah. and then then in the workout they couldn't figure it out because they didn't pay attention when i was trying to explain to them and so they're kind of like walking up to the board, like walking back and completely just wrecked the workout. And so I'm like, Tasia, help them. And it actually, I had to like explain it pretty good for them. They're like, wait, so we don't go back to the bike each round? I'm like, no. Well, I should have just made them go back to, to the bike each round. Except for Matt's like pedaling at a 35 RPMs on a damper of zero. Oh my like, gosh. They were definitely chilling, like, you know, some single yeah, yeah. Oh some gosh. air. And stuff. they would like take their rope, put it back on the box. I'm like, what are you guys doing? That's Matt's so like doing push press dips for his air squats. <laughs> I'm like, you guys, are, this, you're hurting yourself. What are right. you doing? Right. It's so awesome. It was pretty funny. Because oh <laughs> you could tell Rich and Haley were like hurting. Hurting. Oh. And he's still trying to explain to them to oh. it. Which is hurting me even worse. <laughs> and then <laughs> my blood pressure is raised because I'm oh, pissed at them. Oh, oh, it was gosh. pretty funny. So bad. And I didn't want to do that workout whatsoever. Especially with the heavy double unders. Oh, gross. It looked horrible. Speaking so, of being on a bike. Nelson, Brian, on a mountain bike, he's terrible. <laughs> How did he I thought he was good at mountain, mountain biking. That's what, we, like, he's good when it's going downhill. <laughs> so he's good at just riding downhill. <laughs> he's athletic enough to like, but we're riding and I have to be stuck behind because we went to um, Alabama on the way to Texas ah. to do a promo for Legends of the Falls, the um, Mayhem Missions, Mayhem Missions <laughs> event. event we're doing in October. And so to get to a lot of the places, we're like, hey, let's ride mountain bikes. He's terrible. He, he doesn't <laughs> like, shift ever. I thought he did that for like I know. His That's his thing. I thought so I thought, too. Yeah, thought... One, his seat, he looks like a, a clown on a bike. <laughs> <Surface> <laughs> on a bike. Yes, it looks so terrible. <laughs> and then he doesn't shift. So it's always like his feet are just doing this. So bad. So we're, I have to be behind him. Maybe because, that's why he crashes so yeah, much. Yeah, why does he fall off the bike? That's I what I don't get. The flipping he's, off part. He's trying to out, go outside of his skill level. But I thought he was going, really good. Like, fitness wise, no, he's terrible. <laughs> I had to stay behind him because I didn't know where I was going. And so. Were you heckling him the I entire was, time? I kept hitting his tire. <laughs> Because NASCAR in him, because he was like so slow and he doesn't keep his momentum going and he doesn't shift. I'm like, bro, shift. He goes, I don't like to shift, man. And he's just like, just all the time, like, and doesn't, when he oh starts goodness. to go like little rollers where you want to get a little momentum yeah, for the next yeah. one, he just coasts it. And I'm like, no. I was so pissed at him. Oh That's my so funny. Gosh. And so finally I got by him where I realized where we were and just dusted See, him. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst feeling when your like pedals are going like or you're yeah, you going want, like, like that doing I nothing. Feel. He's I like, ah, that. I don't like to shift, and I was like, what? That's <laughs> oh part of the gosh. deal. It was so yeah. bad. It's really good. He's he that he is good with money. Yeah, that's yes. it. That's, you know, like, that's he's, all he's got. It's about all he's got. He's good with numbers. <laughs> Speaking of spinning your wheels, have you guys seen this thing? One of the M30 crew mentioned it to me, and I'm like, it's on Kickstarter, and if it actually is a cool piece of equipment, like I'm so stoked. So it is a box that's this big. And it's supposed to be a portable rower 
skier and for oh, paddleboarding. And I a saw that it's spinning. six inches. Yes, it is it's six inches big. big. It is and it has sick. this cord to it. That, and they have all these scientists and people working on it. If you pay 400 bucks now, they'll send you all the, it's Kickstarter, What's obviously. What's it called? Uh, let me I, actually, I can I can tell you. It's, I, it's actually I can't. Uh, My phone just died. Not Fiverr. It's uh. It's, okay, it's, so Whipper with no er. How does yes. Kickstarter work? So if so, I pay four hundred dollars, Whipper for with no uh, er, just Whipper B-R. with just an r. Oh. Whip or p r. Yeah. So what it Whipper, how Kickstarter Whipper. works is they're trying to raise funding to make this product. Sure. They have like prototypes and things like that. Rich, it is well, they've sick. already raised almost two million dollars. Wiper. Whipper. Is, oh, maybe it is Whipper. Oh, oh, it's is a little. Oh, that's that blue thing down there. Yeah, that little. Mm-hmm. So, but if anyway, I pay four hundred dollars for it, does that mean I get? Okay, one? so yes, that means you're you're signing up for the device. So it doesn't this is come Whipper out till TV. Till oh, oh, let me pull it up then. It doesn't come out until February. But if you order it now, instead of paying like a thousand dollars for it, you're gonna pay four hundred, and they're gonna send you all the tools to go with it because you're helping pay for the development process. Hmm. So the more you sign up for it, but they're working with all these people. So like, the, it's so cool. Like it fits in. Your, it's this big. The rowing setup is a like one bar, this futuristic looking seat that folds up. All of it would fit in a suitcase. The ski thing goes on the door and it folds up like it's this big to travel with. Okay, Again, so what other piece of equipment is it? Ski row. It's really oh, cool. Ski row. I really want oh, one. You see it? It's W H I P O. I told yeah, Tab that I want that for Christmas. Yeah. Okay, wait. Well, I want to so know what other equipments it, it is. And hmm? paddleboarding, so you can put the uh, your paddle paddleboarding stick. is such not a good fitness thing. Well, but yeah, I don't. Hard. It's real. There's rowing the ski part of it. Is I think it, is the cool part. You mean paddleboarding like in your hotel room? Yeah. I'll, show, I'll pull it up so you can see it. And then, and then but we'll the see thing it. is, like, it, it's probably maybe it's not like obviously a concept too, but I feel like sure. if you were out on the road, yeah. it's so than nothing. Can I buy this? Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I want. I don't want it to. It's six inches by six inches. That's like that's a box. That's like this is big. Like if it actually, if they say the science behind the, it explains like the, um, the, like the cranks and stuff inside, oh, okay, but so it's supposed to be decent and, and all that just, but if that actually works, okay, the paddleboard thing, I'm the paddleboards is like, that's it's obviously 400 not, bucks for, for the, the total whole thing if right now, but they say they're coming out with something for swimming, but I, I don't think I need it for, I do the $400 one is with the row and the ski and the paddle, even though you don't want the paddle. Or maybe do, yeah, I don't can know. Can you go back to the paddle there? I just want to watch it. That's he's, really interesting. He's yeah. standing on like a ball? Yeah, that's, he's doing that for balance. Oh, so he just added that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but it's really cool. So, so for it's, traveling, this could be cool. It's a yeah. three-in-one erg machine, but the thing is, like, could someone, like, you know, like, you guys go up there and pull as hard as you can at whatever watts and it still be... I don't know how there's something inflated in there. I didn't read all about it, but I was like, it anchors with the yes. you, you shove it under the door and you like pump it up. I guess. So but like, also be afraid. Don't be. I'm not afraid. Be weary of. Uh, they sent me this link. We were talking about it, and it was from a scam website, and they're selling it for forty dollars. Okay, I should not go on. <laughs> so just, if you're going, I can't be trusted with. If you're investing in Whipper, take my money. Go to Kickstarter. Do not go to. I'll take three. <laughs> it was like the end letters of the website were like something ridiculous, and I'm like, it's for this. It sounds like something sense. that I would enter my credit card information in. If it's oh, actually, I found a sweet deal. Forty. <laughs> if it's that's bucks, what you need for the hunting trip, right decent. there. If it was forty dollars, I'd say it probably wasn't really gonna. Okay. You know. From at first glance, I kind of feel like we just pull it right off the wall, though. I mean, there's a about that too, but that, I don't know. I might wait for it to be developed a little more. There's something that, but I think it's worth the investment. If you're investing in it now, they'll also like send you upgrades and things because you're one yeah. of the founding. But again, they've raised almost two million dollars. But look at that oh row. God, the the ski. video of the guy rowing. The, 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 the ski though. The row. The ski looks the, really good. The ski looks solid. The, the paddleboard's a little bit. A little bit shaky. <laughs> But and how is that going to, how is but, that, that ski, how are you going to not pull that thing off the wall? Yeah. They have, how are you going to anchor that? Like, About to find out. They have anchor kits. Right. Are, you, are you in? Yes. Are you an investor? Well try it. Perfect. Well, the cool thing is though too, uh, they're going to like, Daddy if you Rich. buy it now, <laughs> imagine if it's what like three grand saying? or something. <laughs> right. Like, anyway, it's, I was I guess for traveling, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, for I have all this equipment in my garage now, so. Right. You don't need that. I don't need it. I need the verify you're not a robot thing. Yeah, it's hard. It's the like, pictures aren't good. It's a no. hard Maybe test. Maybe I am a robot. I know. <laughs> it's like, Whenever maybe, I fail, it's it does sad. something I don't know. I have maybe failed this... those tests every once in a while. I'm like, well, what part of the light do you mean? The whole <laughs> those light? Are, those <laughs> things are tricky. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a piece of the light, it doesn't <laughs> <Thank> count. <you. laughs> I feel it's like so it's true. 
you. It's tricking like, me. It's like the crosswalk one, and there's like I'm a like, little corner. Eh, there's the barely a piece in there. <laughs> I'm gonna count it. <laughs> and it's like here, take another one. I'm like, like, great, I failed. It'll be like a car, and it'll just be like barely the back bumper, and I'm like, I <laughs> I'm like that's gotta count, right? Uh, no, okay. I always lose. <laughs> it's not a game. It is a game. It doesn't freaking work. I, every time I do it. <laughs> like you, oh, you just every really time. Have to be so I smart. always lose. <laughs> Tasia, you're living in a simulation. Uh, <laughs> I love that we mentioned one the, piece of exercise matrix, equipment and it's yes. already done. Hey, I I'm always impressed lose. with this try right it. now. That, yeah. like, I was sitting there like teetering. I'm like, do I do it? Do I not? Um, well, it's a tax we'll write-off. We'll it's a piece of equipment. Ooh, oh, perfect. there you go. Sold. So Boom. I was listening to this podcast this weekend about this guy. It's like something like the lost of... monkey land. There's something in there that I was going to tell you what? about. Them, but I, they found an ancient civilization. This guy did. In the Amazon? Uh, it's in Honduras. Is it that mm. treasure show? Something, no, it's something about monkeys. Tibet Tamari, <laughs> or I can't remember how it's pronounced. It's like Tibet Tamari or Tibet Tamari. Oh. Or, um, what is I, this? I don't know. It's what the lost something to the monkeys. They, they call it monkey because they found Legends a Legends of the Hidden Temple? Were yes. there monkeys yes. there? I feel like you're the not really blue. clear about this, okay. Ellie. Anyway, so this guy's interviewing the guy who found the ancient civilization in Honduras. Okay. And they, the, here's the part that blew my mind. You ever hear things and you're like it's outside the scope of what my perception of it could have been. So for instance, they had to go through the rainforest through places that have not been traveled ever. Just like people can't get back there. And this is the part that blew my mind. The forest was so dense. It could take 10 hours to go one mile in mm -hmm. certain areas because mm -hmm. of the terrain and whatnot. And he said it was so dense. You couldn't see 15 feet in front of you in that they brought whistles because if you could get separated from people and then get lost in the jungle and die. Dead. Oh, gone. Like, on top Swallowed of, by the jungle. They have these vipers there that have one and a half inch fangs. I believe it. That they wear these Kevlar pants, but if it bites you, like, you're, it just turns black and you die. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have spiders there that are like this. I mean, it's, I just so. can't even, and long story short, in the final part of it, the guy was like, so, because he didn't get any money or anything for finding the city. It was just like his passion Wait, project. why is it called the Monkey City? Uh, so they found it and they, the first... Is this in Jungle Book? Is King <laughs> yeah. Louie there? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Sir Hiss? I don't know where we're going. Like, I'm a little lost <laughs> on... No, uh, it's one not of Sir the guys... Hiss, it's Ka. Oh, Ka, that's right. Wrong story. That was Robin Hood. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I get what you're saying. Well, it's been there since the 1400s. was like the oldest carbon dating found of it. So you have to imagine if it's been in the jungle that long, uninhabited for forever. Really, they were like... It wasn't they, uninhabited forever or well, else it for, wouldn't have de been developed. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, but Thank you. was there people okay. there? No, no, oh, no okay. humans. So it was like they said when they found it, it was literally like you're just kind of like walking up a hill. But you saw some rocks that looked like people had carved them because it's all under vegetation. So it was by chance that one of the people on the expedition tripped and he realized he tripped over like a field of pottery. So when they picked it up, wow. there was an image of an animal. They said the ears were actually like on top of its head. But I'm for, they said pretty monkey, sure these so. people were just smoking some weed. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so confused. It up. Just high. I'm a, a little lost. Actually, exactly what you're talking about. Intrigued. It's. It, I mean, there's a huge. There's a whole book about it. But yeah. what do we? Well, so there's this guy named Graham Hancock, and his whole life is like dedicated to learning this stuff. Have mm -hmm. you listened to the Graham Hancock yes. podcast by Rogan? Yes. Yeah, he talks about this stuff. He, he's a really good, bit. actually. Yeah. He oh, talks wow. about there's this new technology called lidar. It's, a lighter, that's yeah, what he was talking and about. And they can see they can see exactly like yeah. going over the Amazon, like mm -hmm. where cities were. Mm -hmm. And back in like the fourteen or fifteen hundreds, I don't know the mm -hmm. guy's name, but he I guess got a commission to like travel to mm -hmm. like the Amazon to like I guess find other civilizations and he went there and mm -hmm. in London back then was like the biggest city in the world. And he went he went there and he said there was like yeah. like twenty London sized cities in the Amazon. Wow. That, yeah. And nobody and he came back and he told people this and nobody believed him. Everybody's like, Yeah, you're you're high as a kite and now they're finding yeah. out that this is actually true. Because well, LIDAR was limited because of the government because it was used for like very secret things right. for a long time. So that's why they couldn't yeah. use it. But also they said did the same thing. They went I guess and looked in like Mayan stuff. Originally thought it was a certain population and now they think there were like a million plus Mayans because they go with this lidar that it shoots mm -hmm. radar. Like down. radar kind of. I don't exactly know how it works. It, yeah, something like that. And then, what but they're discover? finding this stuff Don't everywhere. you ask Kyle? Ground About, penetrating radar, wouldn't he know? True. I asked, mm. he said it is made by the same company, but couldn't tell me anything about it. This Speaking guy also that, says... Oh, oh sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No. Okay. This okay. guy also says... This guy also said that, uh, because I guess there's like a lot of, um, 
Like they don't exactly know what happened like 13,000 years ago, like in our timeline. But he says that is actually like a giant flood that came through and uh, like a giant ice cap melted and came across. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like kind of biblical and it came across America. I don't think this guy is actually a Christian though. But anyways, he said that this happened and that's what's caused like all these, like the Mississippi River and everything. And um, basically all the scientists out there that go off our old timeline say that this guy is crazy. But I think he's, I think he's right. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Lost City of the Monkeys. Yep. Yeah, you didn't I, say anything about monkeys, but I can't remember where did that come from? Let me. I don't know. I have, I have uh, a name. Lost. I read an article though. Speaking of Kyle, how he rides motorcycles all the time. I was watching uh, MotoGP while we were on that trip, mm. and when those guys and girls get launched from their bikes, but they never get hurt. Yeah. Like, because they have the perfect. It's how they slide, they slide. out. Well, it's that as long as they don't make contact or something. But they also have this thing inside their jacket. That as soon as they is somehow connected to their bike, as soon as they come off the bike, it mm-hmm. inflates. Oh, wow. It's yeah. crazy. I didn't That's know. That's so right cool. Yeah. And so they just land and slide. Right, and but slide. then you as have long to as get... they don't hit anything, the like injury rate is crazy low. Right. So but, this yeah. is for people just racing around a track. This is like mm-hmm. what Kyle does. If you're going hundreds of miles race. an hour and you low side, you can essentially leave the bike and slide out, and the gear is protected from your necks and everything like that. When you high side, you could still technically snap your like. That's more dangerous. Well, listen to you breaking out the lingo. Right? I'm like, oh, get but this. But when that happens, though, the your that it, thing like, fills up cushions. and so it right. like, keeps you. It's like, like an air. You have to get a new everything. suit, and those suits yeah. are like two grand. Yeah. Oh wow. Their bikes are the ones in uh, MotoGP are like a million dollars. Million dollars. Maybe oh. we need those but suits when what? we go to NASCAR. Look up, look up Rossi's near accident from two weekends ago. So they, that was the one that. Yeah, I read they the seldom about. like yeah. die from like going down or whatever. Mind it's, you, if you hit a wall or if you hit another bike or right. somebody hits you, that's when that. Right. Well, that's when you get Interesting. hurt. Does yeah. Kyle have one of those suits? That inflates. Yeah, I don't think his inflates. Wow, um, that's cool. That's cool. But that's so really this cool. one guy was riding the other day, and there was a really bad accident, and it is centimeters from killing him. A bike flop. Like it, you have to look up this video. He. Comes around the turn, but this other bikes, these bikes are flying through the air. It's coming over a hill, and they're not going to see it. Right. It go. I mean, it's got to be this close in front of us. An entire motorcycle, and he keeps going. You see him look back after the hill, like, oh, wow. what in the? Like, it is that close. It is yeah. incredible. To being done. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, are you supposed to be reading an ad? Oh, oh wow. Yeah. yeah, I'm way behind on ads. So we're always taking over the ads. Okay. Oh. Make it fresh. So fresh and so clean, <laughs> clean. Liven it up. Mayhem athlete. Oh, I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said Jim needs to read the ads because you suck at it. They really oh, said that. Dang. I don't what? think they said I suck at it. They just said Jim needs to read the ads or they said make Tasia read the ads. Because they said it seems like you're bored of them or something. Right? Really well, said. I mean, we don't have anything but new. We have no new content. He needs new content. That's, that's, that's not me. It's not me. Like I'm just half of the fun letting is watching down. Rich read the ads. I know. Yeah, I like it. I'm not reading these anymore because we've done them the same No, do it. Come on. Aww. No. Please. Oh, Lost no. City of the Monkey Just wing dog. it. No. That's what it was called. No. <laughs> no. We can all take one. We've simplified Mayhem Athlete. We now have a competitor option as well as a day, everyday athlete option. If you w- go with the competitor option, you get access to everything. And I mean everything. You mean everything? <laughs> everything. He all of means it. everything. You get King's keys to the kingdom. Oh. oh. You get access to live videos oh. and all kinds of other stuff. Hashtag keys to the kingdom. All we got. <laughs> The whole kit and caboodle. Ooh. The whole enchilada. Oh. Give me your address. All of it. Oh, no. All of it. I like it. I got nothing else. I'm stalling so okay. I can think of something else. No, that's a really <laughs> solid ad right there. Oh, if wow. If you go with our everyday package, you still get a very good value, but not as good as the competitor package. Don't be a loser. <laughs> Don't be a loser. Get to spend the extra money. <laughs> Give us your money now. Give it do you want to be in second place or do you want to win? People? Exactly. <laughs> do you think you look like... Every one of us by doing only the everyday package? <laughs> yeah, you probably could. But yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and upgrade. You also get access to our live videos and more. Every morning, me and the crew, this crew most of the time, sometimes they leave me, sometimes <laughs> I leave them. <laughs> you get access to that. If you do the everyday, you also get access to the M30s with Ellie. Woo! If you want to get your gym on what we're doing as well, join the affiliate programming. Darren does that. 
I thought he meant their gym. They were getting mm-hmm. a gym. A, How do you get a gym? gym? I got a, a, a message from a new CrossFit gym in Nashville, and they're mm-hmm. going to use the affiliate programming. They were nice. It's growing day by day. You get access to everything. You get home version of our daily workouts, the life class, the endurance class, the running, spin, kids, preteen, and teens. Go to CrossFitMayhem.com forward slash programming to get your gym or yourself on our programming and join the Mayhem Athlete family. Now that is a solid ad that right was there. Well done. Wow. Congrats. Well done. Incredible. Also, we have a bunch of new mayhem apparel. What's Woo! new, Ben? We do. This shirt's new. This shirt that you can't see because Ben bin doesn't cam. have a camera on. Ben cam. Oh, the Ben cam. Oh, the Ben cam now. What? No, it, I'm oh. just, I'm just kidding. Sorry, guys. Oh, man, made you it look. It needs to be right there. Made though. you look. <laughs> wow, that was so legit. We do have new colors of mayhem athlete. We do have new colors of. Just the plain block. We have the red, uh, the maroonish, maroonish burgundy-ish, burgundy-ish. Uh, Mayhem Athlete I'm to fight Ron, this, I'm the 2.0. <laughs> we have the I'm mustard Ron color. Burgundy. We have a ton of new stickers, and Dre just showed me the fall line and all the oh, accessories cool. coming out. Mm. Stay tuned for that. Are, you, are we allowed to say what all's in there? Or no? Yeah, go ahead, Ben. Do it. Hey, we got Mayhem Athlete flags coming. We got flags. Wow. Bandan- we got Mayhem towels, bandanas. Bandanas. In what? case you hate your face mask. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's got a huge M on it. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm uh, pretty sure it, it's bunch like of tumblers, camo, baseball. Cam- we got a bunch sleeve. of camo stuff coming out for the fall. I love camo. Mm-hmm. Uh, new hats. Raglan. All kinds Beanies, of stuff. Yeah, I, I know for sure COVID's mm-hmm. not getting through one of those bandanas. No, I'm not sure that's scientific, but it's not scientific whatsoever. I think it's actually worse. <laughs> uh, but still, no, that's the net gators. But we'll okay. come out with those, some of those too. <laughs> no. Yes, Mayhem Athlete or Mayhem uh, Apparel. Let's go ahead Socks and get a third too. one out of the way. Socks, all kinds Socks. of stuff. Jackets. Yeah, jacket. Jacket. Jacket's jacket cool. Looks that like a rain the, jacket. Yep, nice what? rain yep. jacket. Embroidered. Oh, nice. um, it's real nice. Frony Farms, Biltong. I got some new flavors coming out in the sticks. Um, new, actually, we got a new fall line of Frony Farms stuff coming out too. It's, mm. it's pretty cool. There's some cool shirts in there. Stay tuned for that for the launch of that. So we can just knocked out three ads right there. Man, that's All right, quality yielded. effort. We're caught up. That's pretty impressive. When are we doing the chocolate ranch thing? I feel like it we fell do. through the cracks. Yeah, like what? Happen. What is happening? I'm running. Here? Has anybody? If we put a poll out there, we need. We need like. Yeah, Jin. I think it was like up in the air if we were going to make that its own separate video or if it was going to be a podcast thing. I think now it's going to be a podcast thing okay. again. We're going to get Davis Chocolate Fountain, a Ooh. big bowl of ranch. Man, I can't wait. And then uh, all yeah, the food I'm like, you guys can I'm possibly count on the second. I don't think wow. there's anything that can steer me away from ranch chocolate. So. <laughs> yeah, I've asked a lot of people about it. and no, uh, Tapitha's dad actually said something. Um, I want to say it was like grapefruit. Yeah, chocolate. chocolate. There's nothing that know. can steer you away? Yeah. Not many. Chocolate? I don't, I've had so. grapefruit Wild bison chocolate. couldn't even drag ranch. you away. It's ranch. ranch. Man, that's awesome. I love it. But what she's saying is not, no food's going to take us away. Oh, yeah. from, yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah. All foods will <laughs> fit into ranch or chocolate. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I was watching. Have you guys seen that thing you do? I love that song. No, that what? thing you do? That movie? Hello? No. No. No, no. That, do, no you haven't seen that. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding? Mm-hmm. You haven't? Oh, my no, gosh. No, I don't know what you were talking about. Well, I guess I, I think it's set in, actually, I don't know. I want to say the 60s. But what cracked me up about it, I watched it this weekend, A, because I just like the song, um, is they legit on the dance floor, like, this is how they dance. They all stood by each other, and you throw one arm in the air, and you throw the other arm in the air. And just 100 people, this is all they do. I'm not kidding. Look up how they dance in the 60s. Wow. And it's, now you look at TikTok uh, nowadays and things that are going on in the universe, how simple it was back then to just be like, yeah, I would do much better in the 60s <laughs> with my dance moves. I feel like I think same. maybe that's where the Tasia signature came from, but you, Possibly you have a little bit of lateral movement that's in there. That's so. definitely not true, Ellie, so just so it you is. know. That no. camper we were in this weekend, super nice, like way... It looked fancy. Super nice. Uh, one of the guys just sent me one. It's a 45-foot Newell, Newell coach. Guess how much? 140. You're way out of the ballpark. What? Higher two, I was going to say not 200. Not the one we were in. The one we were in is like 250. I was wow. Say. But no, this is, it's called a Newell. Wow, that, um, it looks like a house. This one? <gasps> 300. Yeah, you need a camper. Wow. Oh, wow. Or like a real one. RV. That's you probably, didn't even see the inside. That's, that's probably oh. like a, a million dollar deal. No. Yeah, tr- try 2.1. What? Newell? How is that possible? I don't know. Does it drive itself? Has to, I guess. Dang. It's, okay, that it's like incredible. A, it looks like a palace on the inside. Yeah, it's amazing. But That's going to have like. Crap. Yeah, so have, like, you guys, and stuff um, that you guys gonna in trade the gyms, right? Yeah, well, we dropped into one gym yeah. kind of randomly. We um, Tell us about your trip in general. Oh, uh, it was fun. We did that uh, video for. Thanks, Ben, because I suck. Um, <laughs> we did a. 
promo video for Legends of the Falls. Legends of the Falls. When is yeah. that, by the way, October, and how many people? October 3rd, teams of four, um, with seven CrossFit stations. So it's a little mm. mix between an adventure race, I guess, I, just a trail run mixed That'll with some fun. CrossFit. It'll be a good time. Um, and then from there, we went to, we got a little bit of a late start, later than we anticipated originally. Uh, but Michael is the head cross country coach for his high school. So we had to wait for them to finish. So we drove down um, and stayed somewhere in Mississippi slash Louisiana. I don't really know 100% because it was late and those guys kept driving. So we slept a little bit. Got up that morning, uh, wanted coffee, and I hate Starbucks, so I refused Starbucks. <laughs> mm. You and um, Jim both. <laughs> yep, good for you. So we, we drove, and Brian looked up someplace. Well, as we're driving, it's just a warehouse. And as we're driving by and everybody's giving Brian crap because that's what it does. We're like, you idiot, blah, blah, blah. It was a roastery. It's not even a coffee shop. Well, as we drove back by, there was a window. I was like, guys, I, I'm pretty sure there was a window. Like, no, Brian's an idiot. He sucks, which <laughs> I, normally I would agree Brian. with. Brian. Um, but as we drive back by, sure enough, there's a window that says open. So we drive up and Michael's like, uh, and as we see on the sign, there's also a CrossFit gym next door. So we get coffee and uh, uh, Cope runs out to the CrossFit gym, he's like, hey, you guys running class? They're like, yeah, we're, we're kind of in the middle of it, but um, he's like, I got somebody you want to meet. He runs away, that's all he says to the people. And I guess the lady, <laughs> we find out later, yeah, is like, back. if it's Rich Froning, I'm gonna freak out, so it's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. So we walk over there and we're like, hey, what's up? And Rory's like, we can't work out, we're on a tight timeline before we go over there, and I'm like, dude, I'm gonna work out. <laughs> and he's like, fine, you got 30 minutes. So we just jumped in, it was perfect for like a, no real warm up, like a three minute warm up, and into it, it was uh, seven rounds of 200 row and uh, two, yeah, 250 row, 200 meter run. It was raining a little oh, bit, nice. and mm -hmm. I'd ran the day before, night two days before, but I was like, I'm gonna double under instead, and so I just did 75 double unders, perfect, got the heart rate up, and but then like people slowly, like cars kept pulling in, pulling in, I guess because they'd spread like, the love, because there, the like, there was only like four or five people in the class at first. <laughs> Suddenly, uh, there's 50 people showing up. <laughs> so it was fun. It was parade. awesome because it was just kind of like ra completely <laughs> random, no that's plan cool. whatsoever that's really to fun. do that's it. Cool. Uh, and it was really cool. The gym's name was uh, CrossFit Cairo, but C H I R H O, and hmm. so it means Christ with us. So it's oh, really cool. cool. Really okay. Cool. Um, so we did that. Dropped in, left, and then drove all the way to BCS. We were going to stop at a, a Mayhem affiliate on the way there. Um, kind of ran out of time. We had to get to BCS. Got to BCS Classic. Met my partner for the event, Kyle, great dude. Um, but to get some more fitness in, we did some echo bike calories, 12 sets of 20 back and forth. And he is like 6'3", probably 6'2". So and he crushed big. it. And mm. yeah, so he was like 500 watts. Oh, wow. So I was like, all right, let's do this. And uh, <laughs> so we did that. Uh, had some awesome barbecue, C&J's barbecue after that. Mm. We were going to go stay somewhere else with the RV, but we ended up just staying at the venue on site because they had hookups for RVs was way easier because we had to get there the next morning early. Um, and then three events on Saturday, great time, uh, really cool crowd, no spectators, uh, but everybody was fired up and it was fun. It was a good it must time. must have been a big event. It looks like there were yeah, a lot was, of people there. I think it was like there. 700 athletes competing. 700? Wow. Yep, so wow. masks and social distancing between events. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Um, it was hot in underneath the pavilion. Actually, outside, I would have rather been outside. Under this mm. pavilion was, it was just a big metal building. It had doors, but not enough mm. to let a ton of air flow through. It was, the microwave. It the venue looks yeah. kind of cool, though. Miserable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a cool okay. ag pavilion. I really wanted, they were having a team roping event going on in the <laughs> oh, next cool. pavilion over. I wanted to do it so you bad. You've like, done that. Yeah, like yeah. at roping. Um, but do you know how to do that? I know how to lasso, actually. <gasps> not Man. like to stationary objects. That would have been so cool. Horse, I right. love it in Yellowstone. When I would like... love to try it, but we didn't <laughs> oh, get to try it. Oh, that would have been awesome. Um, seems very difficult. Seems so really did, hard. did you three really kind of horse. four events on Saturday, and then as soon as we got done, we loaded up. Chance met us there, of course. Nice. nice. Of course. Chance He's the best. was there. Good yeah, dude. Yeah, Chance is awesome. Um, and then took us to Cooper's Barbecue. It was mm. incredible, mm. too. It was one of those places you walk up, and you're like, I'll take that, I'll take that. And they just slice it in front of you, throw nice. it on a plate on, wow. a, on a metal uh, tray. Oh, that yeah. sounds so it was good. Awesome. Nice. So uh, then we drove back. We drove back, stayed in Louisiana somewhere between Monroe and uh, a little bit southwest of Monroe. And then drove the rest of the way to Gadsden yesterday and home. Wow. It was a quick trip. But nice. It was fun. 
Did you drive at all? I didn't drive. Um, Copeland and Michael drove. Mm -hmm. Um, It's like a 42-foot RV. So I was going to ask, like, do you know how to drive one that big? Yeah, I could figure it out. Do you need like a, what is it, a C, whatever You don't need a class A or CDL. Yeah, you don't need any type of, it's crazy. Man, so like I could get in there, I'd just crash that thing down. Wow, for sure. That's what Copeland said. He's like, (laughs) literally, he said he didn't get any instruction on anything. They're just like, here you go. (laughs) Drive around, see what you think. I mean, there's like like, all kind of lane assist and guidance and stuff. And then you look here. still, how do you get out of a parking lot? And there's a camera that's on the, that for each side, there's a camera behind you because we were towing a Jeep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, even yeah. more. So, I mean, it's probably 60 foot in total. Yeah. Oh, this thing is awesome, though. It was. Be like, incredible. it looks like we're not switching lanes at all. We're <laughs> just going to stay, <laughs> right? I feel like I would never go in a parking lot and I would never switch lanes. It had three slides in it. it slides? Was, yeah, so like the slide outs. Oh, I'm thinking like he's got like slides. No. So I'm like, this thing's got uh, slides? No. Slide outs. <laughs> ah. So gotcha. when you park, it's the thing it is massive. It expands the width. Fun. Yeah, the, I the thought the it, it had a playground in there, is what I was thinking. But. It was it was beautiful. Everything was white on the inside. I was like, oh, wow. my kids would trash. <laughs> That's a good way to travel. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. Yeah, we just nice relax. Yeah. Enjoy. And they have like the DVD or the um, Direct TV that like as you're driving it mm-hmm. follows the satellite. Yeah. So we wow. watched. Yeah, t- we, did, we didn't really watch anything the first day, but on the way home, I was like, Transformers was on one of the TVs in the barbecue places we were leaving. Yeah, wow. so we watched Transformers on the way home. It was awesome. Nice. nice. And then. What did we watch? The Office and some NASCAR yesterday. Wow. So it was fun. It was good. Did my uh, Speaking of The Office, my 80-year-old in-laws, we we're, were having dinner the other night, and my she's 82 years she old. Said? She says, no, she <laughs> says, have you guys watched this show, The Office? <laughs> it is like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> oh, so good. It is hilarious. <laughs> and my wife so is good. like, I am so excited for you. You've yeah. never oh seen any of this. Right. Season one. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. If you want to laugh out they're, loud. So, so they're good. all set up to watch The Office. Yeah. It was like just usually they play like a full season, like all mm. in, in succession. But this was kind of skipped around. I think kind of the highlight ones, mm. like mm. the famous ones. So good, such a good show. I always tell people are trying to get into it just to skip season one, straight to season it's two. That's what everybody says. And then yeah. but then go back and watch yeah. season one. It's good. It's hard to. I think season one makes it's like too hard to get into. Yeah, Dude, season two is like well because it was hooked. almost. I don't know. That second episode's pretty funny. Like the uh, diversity is so good too. Actually, (laughs) yeah. Uh, But I think they said it's almost word for word the same as the British version, right? Mm, Yeah. The first season, and then they kind of tried to watch that one. Couldn't get into it. There's a British version of The Office. That's that's how it started. Yeah. Oh. Started watching Yellowstone. Oh man, Mm. I'm so. I heard you like. You're doomed. What was the deal? (laughs) I don't know what happened. I started watching it, and then I just had to get through every episode as soon as possible. So, so you just went, it's that good. She's ahead of me, and for, what, two years I tried to get you guys to watch it, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it. We and just then they like, binge-watched it. She's <laughs> like, um, yeah, I think I'm not going to work out as hard today. I haven't been sleeping. I need to go watch Turns Yellowstone. Out she's watching Yellowstone at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> no, I was not watching Yellowstone at 3 a.m., <laughs> but I was definitely watching way too much Yellowstone, and now we're to the point where we're caught up, and like last night was the season finale, but we have it on Amazon, so you can't watch it live, but Abe and I spent an hour trying to <laughs> figure out how to get the live episode. And so she watched the TV. spoiler, or read the spoiler this morning. I'm one of those people, I just want to know. Like, I don't, oh, I'm still going to watch the episode and enjoy it, but what I want to uh, know what happens. No. Oh, so I, Tasia. I need like a synopsis. What is Yellowstone about? Uh, so I need to watch it too. It's so Kevin behind. Costner. He That's, owns, he's like point. seventh generation ranch owner in Montana. To take place in like current times? Current times. Okay. And he's, it's all fictional, but he's like the largest privately owned ranch in North America. Right. Hmm. And basically no. there's a uh, Native American reservation on one side and then like a housing development on the other side. This is season one. What and time period is it? Current. Oh, and it so is. they're okay. trying to take his land, and his family is fighting not to take, not to give up the land, mm-hmm. and the housing development's trying to price him out of his land, so his taxes are too high to where he can't pay his taxes, and then the Native Americans are uh, trying to just take his, his take their land back. And what's he doing to keep his land? Every and a everything, lot of killing everyone. Oh. What? Yeah. A lot it's, of murder. It's it's the, the car wreck scene. Going to the train station. <laughs> taking people to the train station. It's so good. The car it's wreck so scene good. in the beginning. Oh, where he takes, like, kills the horse? He's yeah, I like, was like, my wife was like, nah, no, we're man. not doing this. <laughs> yeah. I'm not watching through him episode, kill the horse. Through episode five, I, I was such an emotional wreck. Like, I can't watch this anymore. 
I can't watch. If yeah. so and so dies, I'm done. Like I can't do yeah. it. There's a kid in there. I'm like, if he dies, he's done. I'm done. Yeah. And yeah. once it gets through season f- or episode five, it's like roller coaster. Then you get like mm. right. kind of a cool episode or two where you kind of learn some stuff, and then it ramps it up. <laughs> okay. And you're like, okay, I'm done again. And then it's How good, many though. seasons? And- Three. Three. The character development's really good because they go like back in time, so we're finding out mm, about why, why people are the like way that. they are. Oh, wow. Is it and on then, Hulu or Netflix? Do what? Is it on Hulu or Netflix? It's on Amazon. Amazon. No, Just Amazon. It, you can on buy it on Amazon. Buy, you Prime. get to buy the episodes, but it's it's yeah, worth, fifteen dollars per season. Time. It's, worth, yeah. your it's yeah. worth your time. It's definitely it's worth it. Not morally that great of a show, but right. don't watch it with your kids. Yes, you're not going to come to Jesus. We're all grown ups here. Yeah. And then you know you go through these times where you're like, man. John Dutton's the man. Then you're like, wow, he's a dirtbag. Yeah, and then you're like, terrible. but I get why he's doing that. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, it's no, like you can't really do that. Conflicted. Yeah, yeah. They're like really bad people, but they're really good but people. But they're also good people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I don't um, understand. And then like Rip in there, he kills everybody. He's yeah. just this bad, but you love good him. bad dude. Okay. Yeah. The, yeah, the and first... then you see why he is the way he is, and you're like, okay, I get it. Is mm-hmm. that the dude that branded the kid? Oh yeah, that's yeah. Rip. Yep. When you're part of Yellowstone, man. When you're part of Yellowstone. Okay. Oh, don't give Matt that. I love it. It's so fun. And also, were you the one that told me you can go like stay there on the There's ranch? A, you can go to the ranches, I think, but it's like two or three years out. For, uh, well, oh, we should wow. plan. <laughs> we should book the show is The show is incredible. <laughs> it's it was like a incredible. <laughs> it's a good time to book. No, oh, it's so good. It was supposed to be a movie. And they oh, just, I'm glad it's a show. Yeah, it's so, it works such so Cause good. Because they're just going to, it's become so popular now yeah. that they're going to make more God, seasons. Man, of, Kevin Costner's so good in it, too. He's a great actor. He's really good. And I love that all the, most Burn of it. the other actors and actresses aren't like as well famous known, as yeah. him, but they're really mm. good. Yeah. So, really good. yeah, the, his daughter, Beth. Beth, Beth is a the lo- psycho. The, like, like she's, so she's having the drink at the bar. Yeah. Spoiler alert, yeah. whatever. And the dude comes up and is hitting on her, and yeah. what she had to say to him. Oh man, that was some good writing right so there. Good. Like she just read his mail. So good. You're married. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh man. Just you're not. It. If you were fishing, you'd be in a river. You're hunting. Yeah. Exactly. And then she says, "Then I'm hunting too." Yeah. You know. I'm gonna cut off your family tree. Basically, yeah. just like uh, he's just whoa. like sitting there, like, oh, geez. Yeah. She's yeah. The, she's cool. You're gonna get to a part where they're like, "We'll take you to the train station to get off the ranch." Uh oh. You don't want to go to the train station. <laughs> you don't I know, come I was back like, from the train station. Oh, the right. first one, I know. Oh. I was like, side of a cliff. Oh, oh. oh. he's wow. like so bus good. station or train station. Train. I'm like, train sounds nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Train sounds okay. Nice. Well, we got started, so we'll see say, what's up. It's fun. Gotta get that dialed in. I was actually supposed to be. I had. I promised myself I was going to do some reading and some studying. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and then I got into that, and, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. I stopped. I did. I did a good job. I stopped. Mm-hmm. Shut it off. Wow. Don't. I did. I. Yeah, I, yeah, man, it's so good. I'm jealous for you that you get that. That's it's so nice. hard for me to catch up. We're so far behind now too. I'm like on episode six or seven, and oh, that's not far. There's no, only ten episodes. I know, but it's hard to get them in because my kids. <laughs> <laughs> RP strength. Uh, it was funny seeing Rory. He's been doing it the last couple of weeks, like strict, strict. Right. And right now for us, I still know where I'm at, but I'm not like right. super strict with the stuff. Uh, he had his like. The app gives you like, hey, time to eat. Here's what your meal is. Blah blah blah. <laughs> and he's like trying to cram it in and like getting ready for that competition. Right. It was it was funny. So RP Diet uh, app is incredible. You can customize your plans, your timing when you eat all that stuff. Um, if you're trying to compete, if you're trying to gain muscle, if you're trying to lose fat, um, it's it's a great great tool to have. Use recurl recurl referral recurl. code or recurl or recurl or code recode froning. To save 33% on your subscription, don't forget them to find them on Instagram at RP Strength. And while you're at it, go ahead and have your insides checked <laughs> with Inside Tracker. Check your blood. Make sure you're, everything's right. Um, Tasia? Yes. It's time for you to check your blood again, I guess. It truly is. Let's go. Although you're going to cry when you do it every mm. time. Okay, not every time. There was one time I didn't. <laughs> not one time. There was Perfect. one time. <laughs> if you go to InsideTracker.com, use the referral code MAYHEM to mm. check out and get 20 percent off this is good stuff yeah yeah what's right. Rory training for that he's serious on it now it, well he did the triathlon and then oh, him and brian okay. did that competition oh, okay. and so i asked two. him this morning we we're walking up to the bar i'm like how did it go and he looks at me really straight faced and goes well we got our shit pushed in but <laughs> <laughs> but we finished 37th out of 40 35th, teams 35th, oh, 35th out of 40 yeah really? but he's like it was a great time I, really? Yeah. Was it just the RX Brian was the or old, yeah they were in the RX. Brian was the oldest RX athlete there. <laughs> he has a broken 
thumb. Oh, it's a broken yeah, thumb. He has a hyperextended thumb. Oh, it's not, I thought oh. it's it's not broken. broken. It's not broken. He has a hyperextended thumb. Man, I told Brian, I said, here's too. the deal with Brian. Brian's intensity is there. Mm. He just needs to, like, instead of just going into the gym to, like, run himself into the ground, hey, let's work on some technique. Mm. Uh, like, Let's let's Polish fix some stuff here. So yeah. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna try to work on them. I didn't say it that nicely. I guess <laughs> I need to work on how I use my words sometimes. And Brian's Brian's soft. Um, he gets emotional when you go come at him from a place of right. aggression. Right. And I'm not good with nurture. I'm not a very nurturing. It's not my it's not my spiritual gift to be nurturing. Really? So, that's you so weird. Know? No. Wow. This, I thought it was strange. No. Nope, this is me. something really important uh. in in. The mayhem mindset process. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna. Truth. I want to give truth. No I want to break this down. But this is really important, <laughs> yeah. though, because what you do, and I talk to people else all the time. There's a difference between emotion and intensity, mm-hmm. and you are never emotional nope. in that regard. Nope. But you are extremely intense, mm-hmm. and that comes right from your design. Yep. And sometimes people get that really confused. Right. That intensity. They think that it's emotion out of control, and you're not out of control no, at all. I'm just, it's just facts. really intense, it's and this is what we do. Facts. And like, I said, like you say, like truth versus grace. Sometimes yeah. it's a little too much truth, and some people can't. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. You can't <laughs> handle it, so you shouldn't be in that space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Brian, you know, sometimes he's like, "Well, I just finished, man. You should be like building me up." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. No, 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 no dude. <laughs> That's not how this works. Yeah. You obviously not hung out. Tomorrow no. is today. Uh, you can kind of. Eh, Tomorrow we start over again. You know, like, in, in his defense, and it was funny. Like it's his first CrossFit competition, and he's white as okay. a ghost and nervous, yeah. and like doesn't want to let Rory down. He comes that was up his to first me. competition. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. He, and you know, I I don't care as long as you give it your all. Yeah, I, yeah. I really don't care. Right. But in training, I do care. In mm-hmm. competition, give me what you got. Right. Training is a little different, and so we're you know warming up for the first minute. He go, he comes up. He's like, you're not gonna be mad at me if I like make mayhem look bad. I was like, Brian, <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. I could care less about any of that. But then when it's over, it's like, hey, and he's like talking about how he wants to get better. Then I'm like, hey, you're going to listen and you're going to do this mm. then, you know, like mm-hmm. that's when, yeah. you know, that's when I care, honestly. It's like, all right, we're not going to come in now and just start, all right, I'm going to throw 135 on here and try to lift a barbell. It's like, no, let's actually, if that's something we need to work on or shifting your freaking mountain bike, let's, let's work on it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm bad at that. You know, me and Roy were talking about that. Just the, you know, the question of hey, I don't, how do I become a competitor? Like, get so competitive. I'm like, if you ain't got it, you ain't got mm-hmm. it. You know, it's hard for me to Mm-mm. level with you if you don't have it. Because, like we say, it's in my design. That's who I am. I can't mm-hmm. tell you how to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't teach someone to be competitive. No. You can teach someone how to move better, but you can't teach mm-hmm. someone. That's inherent. That's like, really hard when somebody you know? asks you that question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Because I don't understand it. No. I can't, right. I can't put myself in, like, I... No, yeah. you can't understand that question because, because it's 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 how you are always. Me, You're yes. actually trying to go the other direction yeah, exactly. and not be so. Tell me how not to be yeah. so. Competitive. Right, <laughs> that someone, we can do. If yeah. Someone tries to pass you on the street and walk faster than you. Do you walk faster? Do you break into a full sprint? I had a I had a really unique opportunity to get to have this discussion with somebody this past week. Really, who was in who was in this space with you guys early and usually mm-hmm. people don't come around to that first session. Right. Cause that's pretty competitive time. Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. that's kind of when you guys are going hard and training hard and there's, and, and the, the question was, the question was about being nice. Mm-hmm. And, and if you have to ask me in that space, about being nice, yep. you are definitely in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow. Because because that particular space, and if you if you watch you guys, it's oh man, it's so crazy to get around people who just don't live in that world, and then they get to kind of come into the world a little mm-hmm. bit, and then that intensity kind of scares them a little bit, and then people aren't really talking with each other, and why aren't we talking? Yeah. And then why <laughs> I need she, to talk, I need to fill the silence. Yeah, <laughs> why is he staring at the bar, and why is she pacing back and forth, and why her eyes look so angry and. <laughs> No, no, it's not that. It's it's their competitors, yep. and that's and you can see the switch go off. Right now, it's no longer time to do any of that. Yep. Nice can be later. Later when we're done. But this is and it's also a very controlled environment. Yeah, it's your house. It's your space. But it's just funny yeah. how it, oh, other people Chris. don't. That's not their experience. Thanks, I'm just gonna wait on that. Thanks, or even sometimes like even. Even people who CrossFit, yeah, and that's and and their CrossFit gym has a really neat culture where they're fun and it's really a good time. Yeah. They have a, and they support each other. And there's something wrong with each other. <laughs> What's that? No, we're gonna put you in the dirt. Yeah, here we go. 
The, I mean, and that's a whole different experience than the the competitive part, the yeah. professional athlete part of who yeah. you guys are. But it's just fun to. Yeah, it's it's hard even like in the middle of stuff when people are working out, and in the middle middle of them working out, they're like, "Come on, you got this!" And I'm like. No, no, don't do that don't yeah. take that extra breath you should be using yeah. that breath yeah. like when we're in between stuff yeah. Yeah. or somebody's on a rest while you're in the middle of something yes right but when you're in the middle of the workout you're like, come on let's go and i'm like <laughs> what are you, How can you you're speak? not pushing hard enough <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. i remember actually the first time ellie showed up with me and hewitt trying to run oh my and gosh. she's trying to talk in the middle of a we were running still she's like are these like talking recoveries <laughs> or are we just recovering and i was like me and hewitt just went <laughs> okay, first of all, you kept, <laughs> kept running. Uh, you know how much I communicate. Oh, Going to the track a lot. You don't shut with up. them, yeah. no, having never even spoken to them ever, not one word. And then I'm like, literally, like on their shoulders, trotting around the track. And I'm like, well, I guess it's time to get to know each other. So do you guys talk on the rest? And they both, literally, not at the same time, look different directions back at me while running. And I was like. Guess I'm not going to say any more words. Like so that should, should have known that <laughs> the, the the advice at the end of this conversation about how to handle those kind of things is when you get into that space and you're not sure, be very quiet, <laughs> stay on somebody's hip, yeah. and watch what happens and mimic that. Yes, that's what you do, mm -hmm. and then you learn something. Yep, especially in that kind of environment. Yep, that was. I don't. Ellie know. didn't Did have I that. Learn that time? She didn't, no, you didn't. <laughs> I think I stopped talking. I'm pretty sure the look scared me. Fifteen years later, <laughs> same <laughs> crap every day. Years. Fifty feet? Is that fifty feet? <laughs> Ellie, what? we've done thousands of workouts. Thousands. Whether just, it's a lunge, an I, overhead squat, or a overhead walking lunge, front I, rack lunge, handstand walk, that is 50 feet. It's I, always been 50 feet. I've had the wonderful privilege of just falling along some days that I don't think I can just do, which is nice. I actually Sometimes heard I just didn't count. Tasia tell you that the workout was on the board today really nicely. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> you were like, are we going to do this overhead thing? Tasia's like, yeah, it's on the board. And then she just kept everything's, working. <laughs> everything's on the board, Ellie. No. You said it really not, nice. It actually, you have an app. Called, <laughs> what is it called? Sugar Watch. Hey, it's in there. Everything's in there. I didn't know if you were There's right. actually videos okay, it's amazing. To, ex okay. to explain to, everything to that we fair, film and take our truly, time. To be fair, week. what you wrote on the board, you were not executing. You were doing Correct, something different. because my shoulder so, hurt. A, a person my shoulder would inquire. Hurt. I feel like that's normal. Is that not normal? But what okay. was Tasia doing? I don't know. She was doing what was on the board. Correct? <laughs> no. Correct no. me if I'm wrong. Who are you working started. out with? Who are you working out with? Who do you love more? <laughs> oh, that's what it's about. Truth. <laughs> Give truth. Excuse me. No uh, grace what? here. Truth. If, if you say not that, you love more. That's true. <laughs> Is that time over? Time's up. <laughs> All right, let's go. You guys, where are we at? One twelve. What time are we at? We're so good. good. I think we're we are like, at time. Like, uh, we're pretty much there. Okay. Fifty-five or something. Do you have anyone kettle else? Bros. Yeah. We ate so much kettle because we were partially filming some like Kettle Bros mm. content oh, there. Yes. Yum. Yes. But every time a bag got opened, it was gone. <laughs> there's not it's enough in so there. Good. It's so hard because you're in an RV and there's nothing to do. Yeah. And you're bored, you eat, right? Right. But when you open a bag of popcorn and then you eat the whole bag. Yeah. Then you either, either make time. bigger bags or smaller. <laughs> I know. I feel the like heavenly that's... cake in protein. It's good. It's amazing. Okay. All of them are amazing. But if I open that one, it's gone. The peanut butter and the dark chocolate mm. sea salt is amazing. Yeah. But, I man. thought it was going to be in the gains box. And I literally ran to the door. I was like, there's cat. And then I was like. Oh. <laughs> was it not in there? I thought it was. No, no I, I guess it, was. it wasn't in there. They couldn't make enough There's bags. There's probably not or enough space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there'd be enough space in there. But for some reason, I thought it was in the beginning. That was a solid games box, though. It was a solid yeah. games box. I think mm -hmm. it was awesome. I Bice love that t shirt in there, too. And Bice the bison and sticks. sticks. I've never had them. Where have you been? I, wow. I, it's not like Rich goes throwing <laughs> out friend. bison sticks. Sitting over here, starving to death, no bison sticks. I actually but forgot yeah, bison great. sticks on the trip. I was so oh, pissed they're, at myself. Oh, they're really good. They're delicious. They're really they're good. They're clean. Holy That's really mackerel. good, legitimately. But I've always loved jerky, so. That's... But yeah, Kettle Bros. Popcorn. It's the number one popcorn in the world, if you didn't know that. Wow. We completely made that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, okay. you guys have really made it big. Wow. Congratulations on having the best cup of coffee. You guys did it. <laughs> <laughs> best cup of coffee oh in the world. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Out. Kettlebros.com. Oh. Use the referral code for only for That could be the new that slogan, legit. though. The best, world pop, best, best popcorn in the world. Yeah. Best bag of popcorn in the world. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure we hey, so no one else is claiming it, right? I did buy it. It's ours. Or ours, like, yours. Those chicas pretty popular. That's amazing <laughs> that you surpassed them. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> they sell that at Target and stuff, but yes. <laughs> 10 out of 10 agree. Uh, 
I don't know on what, but they were. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it like 60% of all things are made up? Wow. It sounds uh, right. I don't know. Well, it's like 76% of people will believe statistic something if you give them a made up. Even statistic? If you get, yeah. yeah. People lie like 20 Including times. I, honestly, I won't get into it, politics, um, but I was there was a commercial for... Uh, who's the guy? It's a guy on Comedy Central does the late night show. His uh, late night show. Basically, he was bashing Trump on what he said about something. Mm -hmm. And so I Googled it. I right. quit Google. Right. <laughs> and you actually read where it came from, and nothing like that was said. You could infer that it was said. Right. Not really even, but you could. <laughs> but yeah. people won't look at it and fact check it. And I looked at a couple different sources because I wanted mm. to make sure. And it's just the stuff it's that's... so frustrating. It's, it's so frustrating. And I'm not making anybody choose either way all of it like even if you know things are taken so far out of context yeah. and blown up and changed and twisted i'm so it's take I'm time so to educate over yourself it. if you're gonna believe something go look it up yeah, for yourself exactly. don't just believe just one person so, saying something it's so tough like if so. you, you genuinely both sides are doing it i'm not saying for sure but yes, both sides completely Absolutely. guilty if you don't if you don't know who the heck you are at this point you're in trouble trouble literally Shame. if you don't have some sort of idea because they're everybody's gonna lie to you period the whole thing's mm. yep yeah. Anyways. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. Ben, what do you got for us? Ben Wisdom. You've been quiet this. Have I? Yeah. Just free chilling. Britney. Where's that? Where's the momentum? Oh, I haven't. <laughs> a lot. Hillary's been getting a lot of free rich, and somebody went way nice. too far. So if you're gonna be a jerk, don't be a jerk oh, to my no. wife. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Like we're having un fun with unnecessarily. This. Like don't be a jerk, but I wouldn't mind it. Just to, you know, to in get a bunch of direct messages. But nothing, don't be mean. Yeah, don't I was be, really yeah. surprised oh. the other day when we were talking about that, though, because I feel like there's an opening here. I don't know. We'll I, don't know. I don't know. I feel like just keep, some of her just responses keep, were... Yeah. What are you guys talking about? My tattoo. Oh. Free rich. Free Hashtag rich. free rich. And I need to go back in the next couple of weeks, so we could just do this. I know. Or I we could to. have him come out here. I know. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Well, Hillary doesn't listen to this, right? No. This podcast. She doesn't listen to anything. There's, they, there's <laughs> websites where they make, like you can send them a design, give you a fake tattoo, just do it. I'm going to send it to you and see if we can make it happen. It needs to happen. You need to do it like on the hunting trip so when you come back, it's, it's it believable. Oh it's like, yeah, that would be to be 14 hours or something, just have a full sleeve. Please, let's wow. do it. That'd, That'd be a good idea. I'll film It's going to happen. I really do. I feel good about it. Yeah. Eventually, by the time I'm 35. We can hide what do you have to do? Like, can't you just That's buy her right something? Like, she, there's a long list of unnecessary things that she wants. Well, how Ooh. much do you want this tattoo, bro? At least a lot, nice. but not like a hundred thousand oh. dollars a lot. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, she wants to. We got to add a pantry, which the pantry part of our house. It would be a good just like adding a closet in the garage and taking up one of the bays of the garage. For storage, and we don't use our garage really to pull. We have so many toys and kids right. stuff in there. Then she wants to make the garage into a bedroom or two for the kids, so they're on the same floor as us. Uh -oh. Because she's petrified now of them living upstairs. Oh, okay, mm. I'm not doing that. That's not reasonable. I'm not doing that. Uh, she wants a couple horses. <laughs> not doing that as well. I mean, that's fine. She fun. wants yeah. like it's. This list if is I can, big list. I, there's Get a many negotiations. Yes. It's not like you yes. jump on the first. You know. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. You well, got to kind of let it. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. 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 So, I'm with you. Um, It'll happen. Yeah. Mini horses are cool. No. Oh, mini horses. yeah. Mini horses are mean. And are they? Ugly. Oh, wow. Rob Durdick had one. It was really cool. Oh, that's like what him. he did. What are you yeah. going to do with a mini horse, bro? I don't know. Walk what what around? a normal horse? Man. What does a normal horse do for you? You can ride you it. Ride it. <laughs> but you also... You, you can, can ride a mini horse? No. No. Why not? Okay, that's why I was... It's a mini horse. Yeah, but it's still a horse. I mean, technically... Trice could ride it. Can Trust a monkey kid, can ride a dog. Ride I mean, mini horses are mean. Mean. I've been they around are? them. You, okay, then yeah. I, I just. I mean, so. the Rob work Dudex of a horse. And I'm. Oh. Who, here's the work. deal. Has anybody in this room has had horses before? My yes. neighbor has. Yes, I have. Horses. We have. So, and I it's will be the one stuck with the horse. Yes, <laughs> you're already and stuck I, with cats. Yes, <laughs> and I don't. I'm the one that feeds the cats. The cats follow me around, and I hate cats. You're doing a good job. Every time I walk to the door, in my feet, I'm trying to walk. I'm like, get away from me, cats! I hate you. It's pretty awesome. You're taking care of those cats. And I I'm feed the proud cats. Of you. Now oh. I'm stuck with the dang cats. Oh my gosh, I love you. the cats. They, they've you chosen around. you. It's so <laughs> awful. I hate them. They're like, we know this guy gives us food. Yes, and they we will not leave them. me alone. It, it actually, <laughs> it actually, caregiver? it actually is. Um, it reveals your true character. I know. I'm very proud of you. Taking care of those I cats. I hate them. I walk out there and they're like, meow, meow, meow. I'm like, nobody's fed you today, huh? Here's your food. Stay out of the house. 
<laughs> and we'll be good. And we're good. Yeah. You run in that house. I'm picking you up by the back of your neck and you're going out. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Because they know now if they're in the house and I come at them, they're like, okay, my bad, my bad. I'm out. <laughs> I didn't mean to be in here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my bad. The door was open. Thought nobody was home. <laughs> Oh man, I'm doing good. Yeah, yeah. You I like. I actually me. like the black one. Oh, Haley! Because she runs away every yeah. time you try to pet her. I'm like, all right, we're good. Uh, I, can, I can level with you. But that other one, my, I just want to like wants every to. time it gets in my feet, I'm just give it not a punt, but a lift <laughs> and like just a lift and shuffle. Like get away from me. Like it is honestly amazing <laughs> how that cat like it puts up with a lot. It likes people. It, loves it people. wants to it be loves carried around. Haley it, will not go around people. Yeah, oh. Miley and Haley. Rich as cats. Oh, you got a lot going on cats. on the ranch, buddy. The froning cats. They're obviously your oh, cats froning now. Froning cats. You're right. If you, you had been horses, adopted, you'd be outside every all day scrubbing horses. every day. Horses, cleaning up crap. Cleaning their feet. Feeding them. And then something would happen and we'd get sick. And the family would, oh, you can't. <laughs> we got a $5,000 to fix its infected hoof or something like yeah. that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We have spent four thousand dollars on our animals this year. I, you guys have told this me. Year? I've told you guys yes. about me and horses, right? I've told that story. Have I told that story on no. here? No. Was it about breaking a horse? Yes. Yeah. So my my, da- my dad. <laughs> I love my dad. My dad's a, he, my mom and dad. We never wanted for anything when we were growing up. Like thirty-five. Thirty-five. They got thirty-fifth. Thirty-fifth place. Thirty-fifth place. Shout out. We, we never we never wanted for anything. My parents were incredible. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. We never got the nicest of stuff. We got enough. Like, you know, we weren't spoiled. We had to work for a lot of stuff. We got four wheelers and stuff. Never got a brand new one, the one you wanted, but at least you got something, right? Well, my sister wants horses, right? <laughs> my dad, love him. Cheap ass. <laughs> I drove a meter man truck. My sister gets oh, some God. guys who was a Good drunk, story. his horse. <laughs> horse is probably a third broke when we get this horse. <laughs> Never ridden a horse before in my life. Maybe at like a fair or a carnival or something attached to like a pole that you ride around in the corner. That's probably the extent, extent of my horsemanship. Horse, horsemanship. Dad's like, well, I don't want to put my 11-year-old daughter on this horse, so what am I going to do? Put my 14-year-old son on this horse to break this horse. I'm like, Dad, I don't know how to ride a horse. He's like, just ride it till it throws you off. You know how many times I got thrown off that damn... Well, I would bail because I'm like, ah, this is too... Like, I would rather ride a bull... Than a horse that's yeah. bucking. I just feel like I'm so much higher. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know. So yeah. I got thrown off this horse <laughs> so many times. Never broke the horse. Yeah. What happened you know, to the horse? <laughs> who took care of the horse? Me, not my sister. We bought another horse. Okay. An older horse. Oh. Right. She never really got ridden either. <laughs> Ended up getting rid of the horses. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Had them for about three or four years and horses were gone. I feel like I, the, I didn't know just, you had to do that. Yeah. I feel like the cats are a really good test. Mm. And if nobody's paying attention to those cats, the after ducks were a great test. Yeah, the what dog? happened to the ducks? They came mm. and went past. They gone. <laughs> I forgot the about the ducks. There's a hawk. You can't do that's that. That's now paying attention and around the house. I don't know if you guys have noticed it lately. Uh-uh. It sits in the trees, and I'm like, uh. <gasps> oh, trying to get a cat. I yeah, it's probably looking Uh-oh. at those cats like lunch. Yeah. Oh no. I've so, had to run a couple of hawks, and even in coyotes, town, yeah. Uh, off oh, because yep. of our little tiny dogs yeah. where you're like oh that's not good that, yep. they might try yep oh, yeah. so. that's nerve wracking wow okay all right that's we're at hour and 10 hour 10 okay. yeah boom and long ones <laughs> that, sorry guys <laughs> oh, got we'll have better ads i'm sorry we'll bless those you were great ads were some of the best ads of all ads. time actually nope. rory's on it now though so right. he's gonna start okay updating them and all right well save this episode mayhem mindset yeah come on check it out it. All the other sponsors that we threw in there, like I said, a lot of Mayhem Apparel coming out, uh, Froning Farms Apparel, Fall Apparel, as well as new flavors on stuff. So mm. check it out. Whipper, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hillary's book actually is on pre-order, pre-sale. Ooh. Ooh. I got wow. it. Blessed mm-hmm. by adoption. Oh. That's good. She did a good job with it. Uh, excited to you know help people out with it. She's got a heart for that. So excited. All right. Peace. Peace.